Okay, this is the fifth video on the binomial expansion where we're going to introduce um, other unknowns into uh, the expansions and then solve some problems. We're going to do three examples. The first one is a pretty straightforward one. It says that g of x is equal to 1 plus kx to the power 10, where k is a constant. I am told that the coefficient of x cubed is 15, and I need to find the value of k. So, first off, I'm just going to write down the first few terms of the expansion. So I would have 10c0, 1 to the power 10, kx to the power 0, plus 10c1, 1 to the power 9, kx to the power 1, plus 10c2, 1 to the power 8, kx all squared, plus 10c3, 1 to the power 7, kx all cubed, and I'll stop there. The reason I'm going to stop there is because all I'm actually interested in is the coefficient of x cubed, because that's the key piece of information that I'm going to use. So all I'm actually interested in is this term over here. I'm not actually going to use any of this. I always actually like to write it down, because I think it helps in making sure I don't make any silly mistakes. Um, so make sure I don't make any silly mistakes over here in this term. Sometimes I think if you just write it down, you might write down 10c2 by mistake, for example. So that's why I always write this down, so it's very difficult to make any silly mistakes there. Anyway, okay, uh, let's write this term down, yeah? So 10c3, 1 to the power 7, kx cubed, which is the same as... Uh, 10c3, so tap that into your calculator, you'll get 120. 1 to the power 7 is just 1, so 120 times 1 is 120. Uh, this kx all cubed, so I'll get a k cubed x cubed. Okay, so this is the x cubed term in this expansion. And I know that the coefficient of x cubed is 15. So this is 15. And now I can work out k. So I can divide both sides by 120. 15 divided by 120 is 1 out of 8. Uh, cube roots both sides, so k is a half. Second example. Part A says find the first three terms in ascending powers of x of the binomial expansion of 5 plus px to the power 6. Okay, so let's do that. So 6c0. 5 to the power 6, px to the power 0, plus 6c1, 5 to the power 5, px to the power 1, plus 6c2, 5 to the power 4, px squared. So, first three terms like that. Let's simplify each of those. So, uh, 6c0 is just 1. 5 to the power 6 is 15,625, and then obviously that to the power 0 is just 1, plus 6c1 is 6, multiplied by 5 to the power 5 is 18,750 px, obviously px to the power 1 is just px. Plus 6c2 multiplied by 5 to the power 4 is 9375 px all squared would be p squared x squared. Okay, so that's part A done. Part B, given that in this expansion the coefficient of x squared. So the coefficient of x squared is this. So I know that this is four times the coefficient of x. So this is four times this. So I could write down 9375p uh, 9, squared is equal to four times 18,750p. The coefficient of x squared is 4 times the coefficient 
of x. And now we've got a simple equation to solve to work out p. Um, so, 4, to, uh, 4 times 18,000, so let's do that first of all. Is 75,000. Now I'm going to do a bit of a cheat here because I know that p cannot be zero. Because I know that p is definitely not zero, I'm going to divide both sides by p. Obviously, usually we would never solve, solve a quadratic equation like that. Um, usually we put everything on one side and factorise it and all that sort of stuff. Um, but because I know that p is not going to equal zero, I am going to divide both sides by p, just to make it a bit simpler. I'm not going to lose the solution now because I know zero is not a solution. And then finally I can just divide by 9,375 to work out p. And we get the p is 8. There we go. Like I say, you could have put everything on one side and factorised, and you'd get your two answers. P would either be 0 or 8. If you'd prefer, you could do it that way. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Right, third example, and this is probably the trickiest one, because we have got an unknown power. So if you think back to, uh, I think in video 1b, I did some examples where we had an unknown power, where we have to use the factorial notation, because obviously we can't use the calculator very much anymore if we don't want the power of this. So, um, in this case it says, find the, in the binomial expansion of 2x plus, 2k plus x to the power n, where k is a constant and n is a positive integer, the coefficient of x squared is equal to the coefficient of x cubed. Okay, so, I'm going to write down the first three, uh, first four terms, in fact, of this expansion. So I would have, n c 0, 2k to the power n, x to the power 0, plus n c 1, 2k to the power n minus 1, x to the power 1, plus n c 2, 2k to the power n minus 2, x to the power 2, plus, I'm going to go a little bit more blue, nc3, 2k to the power n minus 3, x to the power 3. And you'll notice a bit's gone off the page here, but that doesn't actually matter, because all I'm really interested in is the coefficient of x squared and the coefficient of x cubed, because they are equal to each other. So the only, thing, the only terms here that I'm actually interested in is this one, and that one, the coefficients of x squared and the coefficients of x cubed, because they have to be equal to each other. Right, so let's rewrite this here. So nc2, 2k to the power n minus 2, and we'll write that over here. Okay, now um, you'll remember the factorial notation is like this where we have n factorial over r factorial multiplied by n minus r factorial. That's on the formula sheet. Uh, go back and watch the, um, like I said, go back and watch video 1b if you can't remember that. So that allows me to rewrite nc2 as n factorial over 2 factorial n minus 2 factorial. The 2k is the power n minus 2. Well, I'm going to write that as 2 Until k. Until year 7, can you please come to the front office? Until year 7, please come to the front office. Thank you. To the power n. Multiplied by 2k to the power minus 2. So I'm just going to split that up to be like that. Um, then I'll do the same over here. So this will be n factorial over 3 factorial n minus 3 factorial multiplied by 2k to the power n 
multiplied by 2k to the power of minus 3. So again, splitting that power up. Right. Next, we can simplify this one, and we'll simplify this in exactly the same way. Because just remember, what does n factorial mean? It means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3, and so on. 2 factorial is just 2. The n minus 2 factorial, that means n minus 2 times n minus 3, and so on. The n minus 2s will cancel, the n minus 3s will cancel, like that. So we'll just get left with n times n minus 1 all over 2. And let's not forget what we've got here. We've got the 2k to the power n. And then we've got this 2k to the power minus 2 as well. Um, shall I check? I'll leave that as it is for now. We'll deal with that in a moment. Let's come over here though and let's simplify this one as well. So the n factorial, I know that means n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 and so on. 3 factorial means 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. N minus 3 factorial means N minus 3 times N minus 4 times N minus 5 and so on. So that will cancel with all of those. And we will just get left with the N times N minus 1 times N minus 2 over 6 um, with the 2K to the power of N and the 2k to the power minus 3. Right, I think now is probably a good time. Let's make these equal to each other. Because remember, this is a, a simplified version of um, the coefficient of the x cubed. This is a simplified version of the coefficient of the x squared. And they're going to be equal to each other. I was told in the question that we were to each other. Right, um, now I can see I'm going to have, there's quite a few terms here that are common that I can divide through. Um, I'm allowed to divide through here because I know that n is not going to equal 0 and I know that k is not going to equal 0. So I'm quite okay to divide through the n's like that, divide through the n minus 1's like that. I can even divide through the 2k to the power n there, the 2k to the power n there, which is one of the reasons I didn't bother um, expanding that out earlier. Right, so what we left with, over on this side here, I've got the uh, 2k to the power minus 2 over 2. Over here I've got n minus 2 over 6 multiplied by the 2k to the power of minus 3. Right, um, let's deal with these negative powers now then. Um, so let's put those to the bottom. So I could write this as 1 over 2 lots of 2k all squared. Just putting that on the bottom, that's what the minus power means. And similarly over here, Expand the brackets out here, so I've got 1 over 2 lots of, so 2k all squared, yeah, so that's going to be 4k squared, 4k squared times by the 2 would be 8, 8k squared, even here, um, I've got 6 lots of Right, it's 2k cubed, so 2 cubed is 8k cubed, so I've got 6 lots of 8k cubed, which is the same thing as 48k cubed, and we're nearly there. Let's uh, move the 48k cubed up here. I'm going to leave that where it is for the moment, because we're going to get some nice simplification there. The 
48 cancels with the 8 there, and leaves a 6. The k cubes divided by k is uh, k squared is just k. And then add the 2. So n equals 6k plus 2. Which is what we were required to show. Done. Um, in terms of part B, we're told that k equals 2 over 3. So now we know that k is 2 over 3. You can put that in here to work out what n is. And then you can just expand out the, the binomial um, just in the same way as you would do, because you know, as you would do any other time, because you know what k is now, you know what n is now. So it's just a question that you've done in previous uh, worksheets. Um, the key thing, I think, with this example is remembering how you can write um, NCR in this notation and how it simplifies, how the index splits up like this, uh, and the rest of it is just some fairly long but simple algebra. This is the key thing here, this and splitting the index up. Anyway, there we go.